Yo, what's going on Dragon Ballers? Welcome back to another video. Today we have the rest of the support for the red and green cards coming out in set 11. I want to finish going over the red stuff today because in the past two videos we talked about the earlier spoilers of the Gogeta stuff and the earlier spoils of the Broly stuff. So now that we have the whole archetype in kind of like a snapshot, I want to finish it off, give you guys my thoughts on what the archetype is capable of. With that being said, guys, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so I miss a video. If you want to help the channel out, check out the description down below. A million ways to do that. Check out the Patreon, the Gemmy app for your one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as your crosswalk competitive articles. Check out Dr. Protection for your sleeves, binders, all that good stuff. And finally, guys, if you want to pre-order or buy anything we talk about in today's video, make sure you use my link in the description to TCG player. That being said, let's get started. So the Gogeta leader we know on the Unawakened side, he searches your extra cards on both sides. He draws when you activate Union. The Broly leader has that set one crit Vegeta feel where you add a life gain critical. He also searches a, a red extra card uh, once per game, which I did theorize would be a planet Vampa and that seems to be the case. We'll get through it as we get there. So Gotenks Earth Shattering Might. This is the unison that seems to go with the Gogeta leader. We have a two drop 15k auto once per turn when you activate union add a marker to this card activate main plus or minus zero draw one and then activate main minus five this card gets plus 15,000 power for the turn uh, and double strike and dual attack so okay this is what we were talking about before where they have the gimmick of adding counters so you're adding counters via your battle card effects and he has an auto as well that when you activate union you gain counters so that you can use that minus five but honestly you can use the minus five relatively early. Like I'm pretty sure by like turn three, you can have this minus five online. When you fuse into your Gogeta, you're going to add, I believe three markers that turn with the five drop Gogeta and then six drop Gogeta and you know, his own effect adding union. So that seems like it's going to work out pretty well for the deck. Seems pretty good. Kale Savage Berserker. We have this pairing with the Broly stuff. So she is a one drop 5k unison, similar to like the Demigra green unison. When this card's played, look at the top three of your deck, add up to one mono red sand card among them to your hand, then place the remaining cards at the bottom of your deck in any order. Auto once per turn when, you're, when one of your red battle cards activates a swap skill, add a marker to this card. Minus seven, activate main, choose one of your opponent's leader cards, it gets minus 15,000 power for the turn, and then choose up to one of your mono red battle cards, then it costs five or less, and swap in your hand and play it. Okay, so this is actually a pretty serious playmaker for the Broly swap deck. For that minus seven, you put your opponent's leader at zero essentially, and then you play your five drop swap, which can then potentially get you into your higher swap pieces if you have the appropriate energy to keep going. So this seems quite good for the deck. I like that a lot. Raditz Sand Youth, two drop 10K super combo. Auto, if your leader card is red, your life's four or less, and all of your energy is red. When this card's using a combo, it gets plus 10,000 power for the battle. Uh, combo power, sorry. Then you may choose one card in your hand, place it at the bottom of the deck if you do draw two cards. So I saw this and I saw one for green, a little bit of a spoiler there, but it seems like every color might just be getting a Paragus super combo. I mean, it's a little different because you put the card at the bottom of the deck instead of warping it, but still, I mean, this is a very powerful super combo. This is pretty crazy filters. So, I mean, you might actually see a return of like monocolor super combos because most decks are playing the multicolor super combos, but this could actually be a serious return for monocolor super combos although the green one's kind of weird they're printing it because i mean paragus is a card but i guess a little bit harder to get since it's out of a structure deck super saiyan blue goku technique unchained three drop 10k activate main for one red choose a skillless goku br with energy cost of one in your battle area return it to the owner's hand play this card from your hand it gets plus 10,000 power for the turn and then activate main you can return this card to the owner's hand so sticking with the theme of having 10k base power like the set six Goku and Vegeta BRs for fusion. This is doing the same thing, but we also saw the red extra card the other day that plays a skillless Goku and Vegeta from your deck. So that's like a straight up plus. And then you can pay a red to bring this guy out for 20K, put that skillless Goku back in your hand for fusion material, and then put some pressure on. So it's actually a pretty good way to be aggressive. Like for example, on turn three with three energy, you could play the extra card, get the Goku, the Vegeta out, pay a red to play this Goku swing for 20, and then you there's another vegeta in the deck this one right here vegeta technique unchained does the same thing as the goku so you swap this out for the skillless vegeta and for that three energy you've gotten four swings so that's pretty good and overall you've plus one in card advantage so pretty good i would say we have the skillless goku we saw sun goku saiyan youth we have a one drop 4k blocker auto if you have a red unison card in play when this card's played draw one so this is pretty nice because blockers are a lot more relevant now especially in like nuke goku and vegeto where you need those blockers early to awaken 
so this is a card you can play down it doesn't necessarily do the same thing for red there's not yet a red leader that awakens when one of your battle cards is ko'd but just the fact that you can play down a blocker draw a card off of it and protect your unison i can definitely see a card like this seeing play in certain scenarios we have our skill is vegeta we have vegeta saiyan youth two drop 10k auto if you leader cards red when this card is played from your hand choose one of your red unison cards and add a marker to it and for two energy i don't really think this card will see too much play but I, I could be wrong although maybe it's better for like a sealed format there probably will be some type of sealed set 11 so just keeping that in mind we have the gogeta that we saw the five drop as well so just checking real quick again yes this one adds two markers and the five drop adds one marker so like i was saying before with the go tanks you're adding three markers total when you make this turn uh, turn three gogeta fusion play and you're adding another marker because of the go tanks zone effect to give itself a marker when you activate union we saw this broly we saw this broly and this broly and this broly and this broly and this ba okay golemite uh we haven't read this one yet blocker two drop 5k auto filler cards red and it's your turn when this card is used in a combo if your opponent has three or less energy choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 30,000 power or more and ko it okay so kind of like a demigras i forget the name of it but it's a black demigras three drop it's specifically meant to be used in combos just like this card basically you're punishing your opponent for cheating things out into play too early so a good card to have i mean it's a side deckable card in, in broly for sure because of a card we'll read in a second paragus oath of vengeance we have a one drop 4k unique overlord once per turn and keep in mind one of the brolies in the broly swap chain does play this guy down for free so overlord says place one of your battle cards with servant at the bottom of the deck draw one now it's a little weird because some of your brolies have servant and you can bottom deck them to draw a card but you're interrupting your own broly chain now we did see the kale which can reactivate that broly chain but let's keep reading the paragus see what it does when this card's played, look at the top five, top of your deck, add up to one red Broly BR or one red Unison with specified cost of one among them to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So the good, but also weird thing about this Broly deck is there's actually a lot of turn one plays. We have the one drop Paragus, we have the one drop Broly, we have the one drop Kale. There's a field card we'll see in just a second. So it's kind of like, what do you do, right? I think most of the time it'll be that field card after we give it a read, but let's see what this next Paragus does. Paragus, new ambitions. We have a two drop 15K overlord. Once again, putting servants to the bottom of the deck to draw cards. We have an auto, choose one card in your hand and discard it. When this card's placed in your drop area from your hand by a skill, add up to one red Broly, the energy cost of four or less from your drop area to your hand. So basically when you pitch this card, you can discard another card and recycle a Broly. Not too bad. Chilai, trusted friend, two drop 5K blocker, activate main slash battle pay two red choose one red broly in your battle area return it to the owner's hand play this card from your hand this is so strange to me how how they want you to interrupt your broly chain so much it's very weird activating slash battle on the limo trusted friend pay two red choose a broly in your battle area return it to the owner's hand play this card from your hand once again bardock strategic mind we have an sr from the set three drop 20k we have a deflect auto for the cards mono red when this card's played choose up to one red unison card and add three markers to it so three energy three markers is not bad as opposed to that vegeta we saw earlier for two energy one marker this is definitely a better rate and sometimes you just need an abundance of markers so this could definitely be a playable card especially the fact that it has deflect i mean it's you're getting the markers no matter what when you play this card and a 20k body not too bad at all napa elite warrior two drop 15k super combo basic four life draw one not too crazy we have seven star ball parasitic darkness permanent this card gains dark dragon ball in all areas activate battle choose one of your cards and it gains plus 5,000 power for the battle activate main choose a black broly card with an energy cost of one in your battle area and place it in the owner's drop area play up to one dark broly from your deck or drop area then shuffle your deck so i'm assuming the black stuff in this set is going to be broly possibly uh some broly xeno stuff but i guess they're going with dark broly here so we'll see what that looks like when we get the cards in black planet vampa field card activate main one energy uh once per turn if your other card is a red broly br and you add one card from life to your hand so, so so it seems like they want you to awaken quite early look up seven cards on top of your deck play up to one red broly br paragus br ba br or golemite br with 5,000 power or less among them then shuffle your deck if you played a card choose one card in your hand and discard it so basically what this is doing is it's looking at top seven and you're playing whatever you see off the top of either broly paragus ba or golemite but you have to discard a card so unfortunately again not a straight plus it kind of seems like to me that there's a little bit too much discard cost in this broly deck but 
I could be wrong. It could be a very, very fast aggro deck, and that's what it's seeming to shape up to be. But I think the discarding is going to add up a little bit too much. We saw this. Violent Rays, one drop red extra card, counter attack. If your litter card is red, negate the attack. You may choose one card in your hand and discard it. If you do choose one, your opponent can't attack with battle cards, 20,000 power or more for the turn. Or your opponent can't attack with using cards with 20,000 power or more for the turn. Okay, so another extra card that Broly could search. But Broly is probably always going to search Planet Vampa unless it happens to draw into Planet Vampa. As where Gogeta can search this card out by attacking every single turn on the unawakened side so what are my thoughts on this stuff i think that gogeta is shaping up to be quite strong i think you have a little bit of go wide pressure with that new extra card i think you also have a pretty good amount of card advantage with that and also i think the fusions are actually quite good when it comes to the broly stuff it's just kind of weird to me like there are ways to restart your chain in the middle of it but there's also a lot of ways that the deck wants you to interrupt your chains and, and I find that to be kind of weird, but maybe I'm missing something. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the Broly stuff, about the Gogeta stuff. I'm really curious to know, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.